from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Places in the country weather-wise this time of year than this one right here, Tampa, Florida, and beautiful Raymond James Stadium. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa Bay. Here's the punter Bradley Pinion on to get us started. And off we go from Tampa. Takes this about five yards deep. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Steeler offense set to go to work, and once again at the helm, their longtime starter, that's Ben Roethlisberger. And for Ben Roethlisberger, there are a lot of question marks coming into this year because he missed nearly all of 2019 with an elbow injury. And if he were younger, maybe not as many questions. But he turned 38 back in March, and now the Pittsburgh Steelers expect to see the old Ben Roethlisberger who's thrown for over 56,000 yards in his career, leading their team. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. A bad start there, a big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. That's called setting the tone right away. It certainly is, and it lets you know just how important communication is amongst the offensive line. They talk about it all the time, knowing each other's moves. You've got to be coordinated and in sync Otherwise, your quarterback gets hit. Throwing on second and long. Roethlisberger. And trying for Washington, but the pass intercepted. Picked up by Levante David. So they hit Painter, but don't count it yet. There's laundry on the field. We'll see what the penalty flag is about. Pushing foul. Nothing to pass on. Wow, so wipe out the INT roughing the passer. What a disaster. An absolute disaster, and you hope their lockers are not right next to each other for the postgame. Safe to say one is not buying the other dinner. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Roethlisberger will hand to Connor. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They'll run with the NC State man. It's Jalen Samuels. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And that'll set him back five. Still third down. Well, that's a tough, costly penalty, because now it makes it third and six after the false start. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. But it's brought in by Washington. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there, but also a first down. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers, and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. Two yards the loss, second and 12. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. Behind the chain, second and 12. To throw here, Roethlisberger. Setting up the screen, this is Samuels. 
And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Third down, Roethlisberger. And he'll find Washington. That's complete. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. That's a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? They should be aware, but it's so hard to yeah, It's not easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, and they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback and complete the play. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now on second and 16, Roethlisberger, and his throw's going to be incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well, and he didn't get that done on that play. Now Ben on third and long. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32 oh, yeah. and obviously well short of the first down. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. And what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Fourth down, here's Roethlisberger. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. And that's Shaq Barrett, last year's sack leader, gets in there to register another one. First try on offense for the Bucs and their veteran quarterback, Tom Brady. Well, Martin, how many times do we talk about it going into a season? At some point, we have to figure that age is going to catch up to Tom Brady, but how long have we been wrong about that? I'd say probably about the last 10 years. Last year, he threw for over 4,000 yards again. Should go over 75,000 passing yards his career early this season. He's still got it. And what a new challenge he's got in Tampa Bay. Excited about the opportunity. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple at its second down. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up the throw. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Second quarter now in Tampa Bay. It's the Buccaneers in control of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. And now the third-year man from USC. This is Ronald Jones. Now we're going to get a timeout. Appears we've got an injured Buccaneer. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Working from the gun, it's Brady. It's caught by Mike Evans. And this time, not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31 yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Our two quarterbacks here, Brady and Roethlisberger, of course, they met so many times over the course of the last decade and a half. Brady usually getting the upper hand if you look at the numbers, especially in Foxborough, where Tom was 6-0 against Big Ben with a touchdown-to-interception ratio of 21-0. to That's pretty good. Now a 
First down carry by Jones. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. They'll bring out four receivers. Three of them being sent to the left, one to the right, second and four. From the gun, it's Brady. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Tom Brady to his old Patriot pal, Rob Gronkowski. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And that one gives the Bucs a 7 to nothing lead. So this drive spans seven plays. And it ends with a touchdown for the Bucs. the touchdown now it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away and this carries into the end zone and he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14 yard line well conventional football football 101 tells us if you don't get it back to the 20 yard line on a kickoff return that's a disappointment but some of these team special teams coaches with approval by the head coach they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light there. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Three yards the gain there, second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Looking to throw again on second down. Roethlisberger, Ebron with it over the middle. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Nothing to pass her defense. Come on, guys. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. It's another first down, as this time they get an even 20. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. And it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. A first opportunity for the Steelers in the red zone. First and 10 at the 19. Oh, Connor loses it. 
James Conner, the ball carrier. Could have been a costly mistake, but as it turns out, they keep possession. You can't give away these types of opportunities in the red zone. And I'm sure that was flashing through his brain as the ball escaped his hands. Fortunately for him, able to get picked up by his team, fumble recovered, they still have an opportunity deep in the red zone. And the Steelers are going to have a first and goal forthcoming as he takes this down to about the five-yard line. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute in trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. So at that time, Charles, a uh, quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. And this came from the edge. And those pass rushers, they have so many tricks of the trade to get around blockers. They have a lot of tools in their kit. This was pure speed and athleticism on this play, though. And they could barely get a glove on him before he got the quarterback on the ground. And yeah, the next-gen stat's going to illustrate just how quickly a quarterback has to process everything as he was on the ground in under three seconds, 2.9 to be precise. After the sack on first down, Roethlisberger looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. And now it's third and goal. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. That took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Here's Roethlisberger. Now they go screen. It's complete. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. The dial up the screen pass on third down. And for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together. And they had a chance to pick up a first down. But the defense got there and finished it off. So on fourth down, the Steelers call on the number of Chris Boswell for the field goal try. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And Boswell's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So they do get three points, but that's now three drives with only the three points, not a ratio that's going to win you many ball games. Not at all, Brandon. And thick. This way. We all know payoff is the key, right? And wouldn't we love to have the concession on every t shirt that's been printed in football that says finish on it? Because that's the mantra everywhere. Got to be able to finish drives, put points on the board. On the return, Dare Ogan Bawale. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. Well, you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position, not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. Now Brady on the bootleg. And this one caught by Cameron Bray. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. counter here's Jones and he'll lose yardage here back at the 47 
The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Godwin, the intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking downfield for Godwin. This is caught inside the 15. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Shotgun now for Brady. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Well, the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. Rob Gronkowski in the final seconds of the first half. And the Buccaneers here finding a way to stretch their lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So the drive there took six plays. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa Bay. So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. On the return, the Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 24 yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Do it! So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point content. And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. The kickoff for Pittsburgh. The Bucks with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And this will make it into the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Now come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start the third quarter. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Three yards the game there, second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. On play action, now Brady. 
and this is incomplete. Looking for his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski, but now it'll be third down. They tried to make something happen, but that one came up incomplete and really wasn't a good-looking throw. Yeah, maybe even go as far as to call that a little ill-advised. Yeah, I would say so. I think that's the right phrase for it. Definitely ill-advised. Just wonder about his mechanics right now, you know, and that's the tough part. You do so much stuff in practice to make it repetitive, but it has to repeat under pressure, whether it's pressure from the defense or just the pressure of playing the game. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep with the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Now, meanwhile, the throw by Brady knocked away incomplete. The linebacker, T.J. Watt, there on the coverage. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time, separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. On play action, it's Brady. Throw left side complete. It's McCoy. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes it gets that. You can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. And it looks like Steeler football. It is. Ben Every week we hear talk about create turnovers, create turnovers. In particular, they wanted to force some fumbles. They got one right there. And it shows you how the game has changed over time. It used to be good enough for a guy to get a sack of a quarterback in the pocket. Now, if you come to the sidelines, you didn't knock the ball free. Your coaches are upset with you, all right? So if you're a quarterback, it starts all the way back in the youth leagues. Take care of the ball, take care of the ball, take care of the ball, because here come the defenders. Following the fumble recovery, it's Roethlisberger. Open man, completes it to Smith-Schuster. They'll contain him to just four, second down. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic, and people want to put a little contact on it. Really well done. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. On first down, it's Samuels. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. M and he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Ben Roethlisberger with a touchdown pass to Juju Smith-Schuster. And the Steelers capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Now Mike Tomlin says, let's go ahead and go for two. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. 
keeps the score. Buccaneers 14. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You, you establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst. And if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. And here we go again with Tom Brady in Tampa's offense. He's played well. Good first half. He's continued that here in the third quarter. But my question, when you're a head coach, what do you look at stat line-wise for your quarter? Do you go right to turnovers? You really do. As much as coaches don't want to talk about that, that's where it starts. When I played in college, our first rule for every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. And that's kind of how they judge you. Do you take care of the ball, not turn it over, keep it in the proper hands, and give your team a chance to win? Well, that's what he's done here in this one so far. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Here's a throw out wide, complete to his running back right side. First down and much more here for Jones. Touchdown, Tampa Bay! Ronald Jones, 64 yards. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards and just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And if you look at the next-gen stats, you'll see that he topped out at an even 21 miles an hour. Gay is on for the point after. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. Hardly any time taken off the clock there. Two plays, and they find the end zone for six points. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa Bay. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Taken about seven yards deep. And no return here for White. It'll be a touchback. We focus our attention now on the quarterback, Ben Roethlisberger. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well. But the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Now he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. Now Roethlisberger on first down. On the bucket here, pressure too much. Down he goes. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. And hitting Juju on the slam. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. Well, your QB's been sacked four times in the game already, and they're the holding goal. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. Now Roethlisberger to throw on second down. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. And down he'll go at the 25. 
That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn into big plays. And he connects with Ebron. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. Setting up the screen, this is Samuels. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They tackle them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. And this is going to be incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Try and throw for it with Roethlisberger. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. On first down, Samuels. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. This type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistent. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Deontay Johnson on the other end of the throw from Ben Roethlisberger. And the Steelers have now made this a one-score game. Okay, I know it's an old line, but it still applies here. The fat lady has not sung yet. She may be warming up, but she hasn't sung yet. There's still an opportunity. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And it's no good. Well, that could be a critical miss here in a one-score game in the fourth. Chris Boswell to kick off for Pittsburgh. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. 
On the return, Ogan Bawale. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. So out come the Bucks now. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays. They're going to gain yards. And the pressure will get to him. He goes down. Now there is a flag on the play, but this looks like holding on the offense. Kind of surprised they accept the penalty. The only thing that comes to mind for me is they want to move them back five yards because they feel good about their defense. But in most situations, you take the down. <laughs> that, that's, that's what counts more. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Throwing now is Brady. Able to push his way through. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going down. Stefan to it. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Got to give him points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area. Evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. The sack backs him up third and long. Tough challenge for Brady in the box. From the gun, it's Brady. Looking downfield for Godwin. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. And look at this starting field position. That'll be touchdown inside the 30-yard line. The Steelers' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They force the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth-quarter lead. They'll run on first down. Samuels. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from the... Oh, no, he lost the football. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. That is caught at the seven. 
And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, I guess at the very least, they got the tackle from keeping him out of the end zone. Yeah, you're looking for that silver lining, aren't you? But guess what? Everything changes now after that big play. They've got a chance to strike. They come up on a first and goal and most likely four down territory as they need a touchdown and the PAT for the lead. Shotgun handoff to Samuels. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Give him three on the game there. Second and goal. Defensively, they must have been expecting a pass. They were in the dime look out there. I think maybe they were deciding to go with speed on the field rather than bulk. I'm with you a little bit surprising. But they wanted people getting to the ball as fast as possible. The lighter shift your defensive backs. A lot. Got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Roethlisberger connecting with James Washington. And if the Steelers can convert the extra point, they will have the lead. Now they can boot it through on the always important extra point. And then defense has to hold up their end of the bargain. And there's something that you've pointed out in numerous games that we've worked. Okay, the excitement's going on. Everyone's yeah, celebrating over out. there. Who's up. calling up the defense to make sure what they're focused doing? because they still have some work to do. Boswell for the extra point. And with that, his guys take the lead here by a point. Five plays there on that drive. And it ends with a Pittsburgh touchdown. Chris Boswell to kick off for Pittsburgh. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Taken in the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. So here's Brady and the Bucks, down 22-21, a little under a minute to go. They've surrendered a double-digit lead, but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. Over the middle, complete. That's McCoy. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. Brings up second and one. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. He'll look to throw. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 15 yards on the play, first down. Well, they got the yardage they needed there, picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understand where they are in the field. To throw is Brady. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Brady to throw. And he finds Gronk. And he's across for the touchdown. And it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that.
So what can Brady do here is he'll lead his guys up to go for two. Now Brady. And he will get into the end zone for the two points. And that helps. That gives him a seven-point lead. So they go with the pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational. You have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. This taken in about four yards deep. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. What do you do here down like this in this situation? Do you maybe just pick something out of the playbook you haven't called in a while or you call it a day? You can do that or you pick something that's a staple for you. And Oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Whitehead. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Brady gives this one off to Jones. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Time has run out on what will be a Tampa Bay victory. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did. But they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one out, didn't they? Because nothing came easy. Every snap was a major league brawl. They had to win at the line of scrimmage, win downfield. They got all those things accomplished. But to win a close one like this... You know, every team wants to be physical. We've heard that a million times, right? But those who are mentally tough...